Hey, what's going on, guys? This is x 5 and welcome back to some more automation. And today, I'm going to be making a limo. I am finally going to be making a limo after a long, long time of com trying to convince myself to do it. And please, ignore the fact that there's already a buy on this thing. I tried to make a car with this and recording it, and I didn't really, and it didn't end up turning out very well. Anyways, I'm going to be doing this. If you are enjoying this, you know, on the channel, if you do want to see more, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, I'm going to get started on this. How about a light truck monocue? Got a feeling that's going to be nice. How about a resistance, corrosion resistance steel? And call you a five. Okay, everything's good there. And please ignore this as well. I tried to do everything, but it looks like everything's good here. I might need to. Looks like that everything's good. I might not even need to. Wait, hold on. Year's not right. Why does it keep going back to 1957? 1980s. 1980s here. 1980. Do you not get it? There you go. Okay, billet steel. Lightweight forged. Hydraulic cast. 1980, come on! 1980. Alright, here we go. Now it's going to be aluminum. Anything else? Nope. Yeah, nope. That's what I thought. Okay, 1987. 1987. 1987. Okay, we're going to have the regular one for this. And we're actually going to have an injection system. There we go. Going to have multi point. We're going to lower the compression on this because it's not going to need this much. It's not going to need that much cam profile either. This is not going to be a fast car. That's for sure. 30 seems good. Yeah, let's uh, turn down the compression a little bit more. It's a limo, people, so come on. It's not really going to be fast. You don't really expect a limo to be fast. You expect it to be calm and nice and calm. Okay, we can up the ignition timing a bit. We need to turn down the fuel mixture. We need to turn that down to be really, really lean. Okay, well, we need a little bit of ignition timing on that. Yeah, like that. That's a, more, a bit more realistic. It's going to have a purse. Actually, no, a twin. A twin style. Yeah, just like that, just like so. Okay, we'll have out to 5,000 RPM. It's going to be straight through the first. It's going to be a three-way Calic converter. And you get a little bit nicer. It's going to be a long tubular because it makes sense because it's a limo. Okay, let's test this bad boy. I said, let's test it. There we go. Why do the engine noises sound a lot better when I do this? Like, it's surprisingly quiet. Well, it's a limo, so you can't really expect much from it. Which one's, which one's wider? Which one's longer? Oh, this is a six-door. This is a four-door. Okay. I can see the difference now. I now know the difference. Okay, now body quality. Okay. Now five. It's now five. Now that's five as well. That's five as well. Okay. 
Okay, let's make it a nice looking limo here. It's already looking very nice. Now that I know that limos sometimes do have a very long back end. Okay, we'll make it look nice here. And this is like an older, a more older limo, not like those super long limos that you see on the road nowadays. Well, this is what an older limo used would look like if you didn't know already and they would usually be in black and I usually do the same for the window trim I said the okay I'll do that for the pillars there we go now it's completely black yeah it's usually a black limo that's like super long and all that alright I can see this going very very quickly come on load yeah, I'm not going to use any of those. Might use this. Let's see how this looks. Um, I'm not feeling it so far. They don't really look 80s. They look more like 70s or maybe 60s. It's also making the front glitch out a bit. So, nope. Big no. Hmm, what do we want? What do we want? We want this? No, we don't. That's a more modern one. How about this one? Actually, maybe. Okay, come on. Get to the shape that I want you to be. You like that? Yeah, no. Actually, maybe. I can make this work. I could possibly make this work. Besides, it'll look nice with the silver trim. It'll match the bumper. Yeah, no. Yeah, I need to make my decisions here, people. Whoa, actually. Maybe these. I can see people that are, like, saying, shouting at the computer screen right now, like, X, just pick a headlight and be done with it. I need to make decisions. I'm a very, very, pre I'm a very detailed person and I am very I took this very seriously I take car manufacturing very seriously what's the difference between these huh weird come on that looks a little bit weird but I think I can fix it with flipping it oh now it looks sad does that look good? No, it doesn't. It makes it look sad. We don't want a sad limo. We want a happy limo. What is this supposed to be? Actually, maybe this could work. Probably not those, though. But probably yes to these. Probably not. Never mind. <laughs> I need. To, I'm very hard. This is very. This is a lot harder than I thought. Wait, actually, here I found the limo lights. I found the limo lights. This is why I would picture an old style limo to have, like these kinds of lights. These blocky headlights. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, tail lights. Now. Based off of the limo that I've seen, and I now have a photo of it on my head, I know exactly what the taillights look like. I just need to find it, the... 
the correct uh, tail light for it. They look like this. Hold on. They would look like... Look like... This. How does that look? It actually looks somewhat hideous. Hold on, I need to fix it. Nope, looks better. But yeah, never mind. I picture that to look way better in my head. How about these? Yeah, I'm sure I need to uh, expand them a bit. Okay, no, no, no. I've been eyeing these for a little bit, and I think these might be the ones. If your boy can figure out exactly how to do this. Um. Well, maybe this, maybe. Actually, that doesn't look that bad. Um. Where, what do I have? What, do I, what else do I have for options for taillights? I didn't even look through the whole list. Ooh. Actually. These ones caught my eye. Let's see. Oh wait, these ones retrospect. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Indicators, yeah, it's going to need them. I was about to say, nah, we, it could live without them. Yeah, just like so. And just like so. And he's in the carriage. It's gonna it needs to look nice. Okay, it's not gonna need a lip or a spoiler. It is going to need a fuel cap though. How about we have this nice looking fuel cap here? Yeah, like so. Door handles, here we go. We need nice looking door handles too. Um, how about these? These look like, uh, limo doors. Wait, hold on. I know that what they do, because they're European cars. Oh, they actually face the right way for once. Huh. Interesting. Okay, mirrors. This might be where it gets a little bit tricky. How about these mirrors? Actually, that doesn't look too shabby. Yeah, not too shabby. We're gonna make it chrome, though. We're gonna make it chrome. We're making it look chrome. Yeah, like that. Aerial, I know it has. I know it has aerials sometimes. So we're going to make it look like this. I know it does it like this. I know it sometimes does this. Wait, is it actually what it actually looks like? Okay, yeah, it does. Hold on. You need, I need to rotate a bit. As if I... Of course it rotates like that! Why would you make it rotate like that? Like, that's the stupidest thing ever. Uh, 
Okay, that makes it look a little bit... Actually, yeah, that does. Huh. Yeah, I know it has it. It sometimes has it like that. Limos do. All right, number plate. I for I almost forgot about those, and I almost forgot to put room for it. Um, we're gonna have the automation license plate on it. Just like so. Actually, it looks nice. As far as of how well this car's turning out, what is this? Oh, it's these things. I know the I know the limo has I know limos have these things on the back of it. Yeah, that thing, the shark tail. Or whatever you call it. What is this? I think this is supposed to be a hood ornament. Yeah, it is. It is a hood ornament. What this? I think these are all hood ornaments of some kind. What is that supposed to be? I have no idea. Let's find something good. Probably not that. What is this? That looks like a whale. Okay, that's supposed to go on the back. Check that out. What is this? Okay, that's like the Oldsmobile hood ornament. I actually kind of want a hood ornament on this car now. Align to Horizon, actually. Wait, how did I miss the grill? I missed, I completely missed the grill. I almost didn't put a grill on this thing. All right, there's a grill. There's a grill I can trust. I won't look that sh that good. That will look good on a car like this. Yeah, not too shabby. Chrome grill, not too shabby. Bumper bar, badge, wheels, actually badge. I haven't put a badge on this thing yet. Is this a ornament? I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think this thing needs a badge. It's got one on the back. Okay, what do limo wheels look like? What these? Well, actually, it doesn't look that bad. Ooh. Okay, I'm finding some wheels that don't look that bad on this car. Maybe those? Decisions, decisions. There's some classic rims. Which one looks best, though? That's the real question. That's the ultimate question here. Which one looks best? Probably not that. Maybe this. That looks good. Oh, yeah. That looks good. That looks really good. Exhaust tips, I don't think it's really going to need one, but we'll put one on there anyway, just because I like the aesthetics. Now, since it is dual, I am going to need to mirror it. Like so. Yeah, it's yeah, that's the exhaust. We'll call it a day there. MISC features. What else do we what else can we add? Probably nothing much, really. Yeah, no, we're not gonna add any crazy stuff to this. Um, it's going to be, uh, how do you want this? I'm guessing that limos are going to be, yeah, real, real drive. I'm guessing that's how it is. It's going to be advanced on a Mac. We want it to be nice. A so four gear ratio. It's not going to be that fast. It's going to have a geared LSD because it's a luxury car. Five. I said five. It can at least get up to highway speeds, and that's really all it needs. Okay, it needs radial tires. It's going to need medium compound alloy. Um, yeah. Wait, how's the rim offset on this thing? It actually needs work. 
Why did I increase the rim size? I just need the rim offset, and that's it. Alright, there we go. I got the wheels fixed, but now I need the quality up. We need that quality on our car manufacturing ship. There we go. Okay, it's going to be a vented disc. Two pistons. Same for the rear. Vented disc. Two piston. Not going to mess with any of this. Four or five. Alright, there we go. It's going to have none of this. But I will have the quality. Because it's a luxury car again. Okay, we'll get people in the back too. Yeah, like that. Yeah, we'll have three like this, but I really wish that would be like facing the other way because that's how usually how limos are made. Okay, luxury cassette. I have no idea how what that means, but we're putting it in. Okay, we're going to have the variable hydraulic power steering. It's going to be quality of five as always. It's going to have advanced age for safety. All right, and it's going to be quality of five again. So quality of five again. There we go. Okay, it's going to be uh, progressive springs gas monotube. All right, it's going to have that. It's going to be uh, comfort for the for the suspension. It's going to be comfort style. Okay, increasing top speed, brake size. Once we do increase the top speed, that's surprising. Increasing the top speed again. Still. Jeez. How much do you want me to increase the top speed? It's not that fast of a car. Still? Again, not that fast of a car. What are you doing? Okay, now it's down in the blue, which is good. We're about to get rid of it, I think. Okay, almost there. Just a little bit more. I'm not putting it up to 100. It's just going to barely touch 100. Okay, apparently the game wants me to reach, make it reach 100. Wait, I know why. I know why. I know why. It has an it has a dual overhead cam. That's why it has so much power. Yeah, we'll put an overhead cam on it. That's all it's going to get. Wait, please don't tell me I caused more errors for the car. Oh, wait, no, it actually fixed it. Okay. Buh, 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 buh. I'm just going to click this thing like crazy. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I'm not done with it yet. I'm going to decrease the top speed setting on this. It doesn't need to go that fast. Really? Come on. Come on, game. Really? Okay, there we go. Okay, apparently that's the max. That's the max. Yep, it, it is. Okay, now it breaks. Brakes, brakes. Increasing rear and front. Okay, just increase the pistons. How easy is that? Okay, increase pistons. There we go. There. Easy! <laughs> Wait, increasing it still? 
Okay, I'll re I'll increase it. Why not? I'm guessing it needs it. Okay, now I need to do the same for the front. This is probably like the easiest car I had in terms of brakes I have ever done throughout the history of my automation episodes. Wait, quality, quality. Gotta do that. Gotta have that quality. There we go. High quality, high quality. There we go. All right. Look at the details on this thing. Wait, where's the graph? All right, let's take this thing to the test track. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Because it's a limo. Like, do you really take a limo out to a test track? Believe me. Really? Do you really take a limo out to a test track? Well, let's see how well it does. Why not that good? Because it's a limo. It... That's built in the early 1980s. <laughs> Give it a second, the game doesn't need to load. Alright, there we go. And wow, the speed really does, the, the time speed really does matter because, yeah, it's, uh, it's very slow compared to the air cars I've made. Well, it's a limo, so what can you expect? Seriously. Alright, it's halfway through the track, I think. Yeah, I'll call that halfway, right there. Alright, coming up the chicane. Just like so. It's actually doing a really good job. Just like so. And just like so. And just like so. Alright. Here we go. Okay. Main summary. Yeah, I'm not going to ignore... I'm not going to... I'm just going to ignore this. Because I, get, I got no errors here. So, I'm taking it. Okay, I'm going to... I think that's going to do... I think that's going to do it for today's episode of Automation. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.